Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket. First of all, I just want to let you know I got a custom URL. It's right here, this one right there is my new custom URL. Go ahead and use it if you want a quick shortcut to my channel. Anyways, back on to today's subject. So today I'm bringing you guys one of the best price to performance builds I've ever listed on the channel featuring the Ryzen 3 1300X. It's a $500 build, and it's very good for content creation and a little bit of gaming, although I don't really recommend this for playing video games that much. I'd recommend it more for playing video games. But anyways, let's go ahead and begin this video. TubeBuddy is the free Chrome extension that allows you to get easy SEO tools and manage your channel easily. Learn more by going to TubeBuddy.com slash TechiePocket. First up we have the AMD Ryzen 3 1300X, a 4-core CPU with a TDP of only 65 watts, clocked at 3.5GHz base and 3.7GHz turbo. It also features AMD's XFR technology for improved performance in certain conditions, and it even comes with that epical Wraith stock cooler in the box. For $135, this is probably the best PTP CPU you can get on the market right now. Next we have the Asus Prime A320M-K A320 motherboard. This MOBO is a micro ATX one and it features one M.2 and two PCIe 1x slots for great expandability. It supports up to 32GB of DDR4 sticks at 3200MHz and it includes a great selection of I.O. ports. Overall this is one of the cheapest MOBOs for the Ryzen 3 so go ahead and check it out. Now to fill up in that last slot here, we have a 1x8GB stick of DDR4 2133MHz RAM from Crucial. This is one of the cheapest RAM sticks and it's only 1x8GB, meaning you can upgrade it to 16GB whenever you guys want. As for storage, we have the famous WD Blue 1TB HHD, which is about $50 and totally worth it. For content creation, the Ryzen 3 1300X should be good enough, but if you want to game, then here it is. For the video card, we have the Gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti 4GB. It's perfect for 1080p gaming, and it's a great card for doing budget, I mean basic, rendering and stuff like that for content creation, so this should get the job done pretty well. As for power, I chose the cheap and reliable EVGA 400 watt PSU because, well, it's cheap. Finally, we threw all these parts into the Rosewell SRM-01 Micro ATX case. This case is only $18 and it has no window, and it's a very good budget option if you need the cheapest out there. Cable management is not the great, in fact it's very bad, but since there's no window, it doesn't really matter anyways. Anyways guys, I hope this was helpful to you, I hope you enjoyed this parts list, and if you did, go ahead and hit that red button that I now know is, uh, actually, uh, I think it's on this side actually, the subscribe button, go ahead and hit it, you guys know where it is, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.